This video is brought to you by Hit Point Press and their Big Bad Booklet series. Hello and welcome back to the Gallant Goblin. Today we have our first review of the new 4D settings sub-collection called War Machines. No relation to Don Cheadle. This is the Catapult. If your campaigns involve castles, then having at least one of these available is going to be really handy for your story. As we take a closer look at it, we'll talk about the various ways that you can use catapults mechanically and narratively in your story. Do note that it is non-functional, so you can't pester your players or pets by hurling Cheetos their way. But let's open it up and see what you can do with your catapult. Let's get right to it by taking a look at the catapult first. There's a lot of nice attention to detail in its modeling, and it does have a very nice functional paint job. The catapult takes up a 3x4 section of your battle map, and um, what I said earlier about it being non-functional, I was totally wrong. This catapult does work, though not in the traditional way that catapults work, obviously. Using the little lever on the side, you can have the arm swing out and sling the rock inside. It's fun. Knock those expensive player minis right off the table. They probably deserve it. Here's what else comes in the package. You get two loose stones, a pile of stones, two oil pots and frames, and a human engineer. The pots of oil are also functional in that you can rotate them up and down. Very suitable for some nasty dungeon or castle traps. The engineer doesn't come with a base, and I rather wish he was painted up a little bit better. This may be one that could do with a little touch up if that's your thing. And here's the whole set put together on the table, giving you a better sense of scale of that catapult. It's a pretty hefty little mini. Now the rules for both the catapult and the oil pot, or suspended cauldron as it's called in D&D, are in the Dungeon Master's Guide in Chapter 8 under Siege Equipment. The cauldron takes three actions to fill up and one to tip. And it does 3d6 fire damage with a deck save to negate half the damage. The catapult is listed as a mangonel. It takes two actions to load, two actions to aim, and one to fire, so best have a couple of people there manning it. It has a plus five to hit and does a whopping 5d10 damage. If you're wanting the rules for Siege Engines in Pathfinder 2nd Edition, you're gonna need to sit tight until around September 2021, as they'll be included in the Guns and Gears book, which brings the Inventor and Gunslinger classes into the game. For Pathfinder 1st Edition, the Catapult rules can be found in Ultimate Combat. 4D Settings Catapult has an MSRP of $39.99 and is available now. If you're digging these war machines, WizKids also has a Ballista, a Trebuchet, and a Battering Ram in the same line. If we get our hands on those, we'll make video for them as well. Videos for them as well. But for now, many thanks to WizKids for sending us this little one. To review. <laughs> and many thanks to our sponsor for this video, Hit Point Press, and their Big Bad Booklet series, a monthly zine about boss monsters for 5th edition. If you're looking for fun, quick adventures to enjoy with your group, these books have you covered with new stat blocks, role-playing guides, and stories. This month, come meet Captain Fulmini, a vampire who can harness the power of the high seas with an unquenchable thirst for revenge. Beware the ship with the bloodstained sails, landlubbers. It may be the last thing you ever see. Will you walk the plank or can you knock Captain Fulmini's plans off course? Subscribe today at BigBads.com. <coughs> And thank you for joining me today. You can join us on Patreon to get access to perks like early videos, original 5e supplements, original minis, and more. You can also find us on Reddit, Discord, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you enjoyed today's video, leaving me a like helps us out a lot. And be sure you're subscribed so you don't miss anything. We have some really exciting things planned for the next couple of weeks, and I hope you'll be there to enjoy it with me. For now, thank you. Please stay safe, have fun, love each other, and I'll see you next time at the Gallant Goblin.